Yo, what is going on YouTube? Are you winning boys? I hope you're winning because on this channel it's all about winning. My name is Bart or Burn to Win and today we're gonna continue adventure in Werewolf the Apocalypse Earthblood. This is gonna be chapter 22 of this let's play already and in case you missed the last episode we faced up with Onawa after discovering that she betrayed us for uh, of course Endron but we actually also found out that this was because Pachua's spirit was infected with worm or worm and um, basically she or she Onawa was poisoned by his spirit uh, which made her um, act unnaturally so we then went and um, completed the last or what we think is the last side mission of the game uh, we stopped the spread of this poisonous gas uh, from Endron and we are now ready to go to this um, offshore base from Endron we need to contact Declan and we'll head uh, to see if we can save Aidana. Finally, maybe one of our missions will uh, come to a happy end instead of all the failures that we've seen so far. So, let's go for it. Andron's black site is based offshore. Ava and the others are already on their way to launch the attack. Cool, and we get a trophy straight away. What a start to the episode. Endron's oil rig. After defeating both Onawa and Pachua, victims of the worm's corruption, Kahal takes off for the oil rig on the Pacific coast where Watkins has fled with Aidana. There, the, Fia the Fianna warrior meets up with Ava and her activists who aim to destroy the oil rig as well as the biological weapon who that is stopped there. However, the only thing that matters now to Kahal is his daughter. Of course, of course, she's the only thing that matters, boys. There's the oil rig as we approach it. And it looks like we are about to launch what could be the final attack on Endron. Over here. We have absolutely decimated their headquarters. My men have already secured this sector. Let's see how this oil rig goes. Doesn't matter. They won't stop me from finding my daughter. I know, but there's something more at stake here, Kahal. I've had time to analyze the data we got from Endron's HQ in Nevada. The biofuel and the treatment undergone by the prisoners are both linked to the Earth Blood Protocol. Okay. If we don't put a stop to what's going on here, the whole world is fucked. Adana included. What are you talking about? The tests on the prisoners allow Endrin to develop a compound that acted as an attractor for Banes. Banes. And lots of people affected ended up as Fomori. Then the gas Watkins used in Nevada. It's their biofuel. They've developed a method to spread mm -hmm. the compound in gas form. And right now, this is where they're producing it. In fact, this is where they produced it from the start. They don't have the necessary equipment in Nevada. I read it in a report at their HQ. Humans will contaminate each other, turn each other into Fomori. Oh, good. By driving their fucking cars. That's the Earth Blood Protocol. Oh, yeah. We must destroy this place. This place needs to be destroyed. Damn right. We'll split up to divide their forces. Go get Adana, and try to draw their troops' attention. They both know you can handle it. My team will follow you to place explosives and mop up any stragglers. Perfect. As long as you can help me find her. I'll open any doors I can remotely. Now, let's go. Good luck, Kahal. Cool. Girl back home. Perfect. And how come we're here without them noticing, without them kind of posing any resistance? We just set up our base here. Look, we even connected all the computers and stuff, and we have weapons, and we're just here chilling, preparing for the attack. I, I, I don't quite get it, but hey. First group, place in prime explosive, leader Marco, second group, defense of first group, leader Declan, third group, reconnaissance and surveillance, leader Maeva. The mankind seems ready. Yeah, they definitely do. Cool, any more documents to read here? No. And what's here? Another spirit. And we get four spirit points to spend actually. So I think we'll go and improve our frenzy. So that we can freeze the time. Oh, this would have been so helpful in the Pachua fight. Maybe I wouldn't have been bitching for the whole fight then. If we froze the time for a couple of seconds um, using our frenzy. Maybe you would be able to do it in less runs, this fight. Mm-hmm. Oh. 
yeah, that fight with Pacha would have definitely been much, much easier. With that last skill. Oh boy, who are they? Are these my guys? Okay, there, are, yeah. Cool. Ava? This sector's lock has been taken care of. How's your side looking? We're making progress. So we connected Ava to the South Sector's terminal. Let's go to the helipad area. Yeah, once again, we're kind of chilling here. Yeah, just taking over the rig. Andron is nowhere to be seen. They just allow us to roam around here. No problem. There is yet another spirit. Mm, okay, nothing more here. Just keep going. I'll have my people prime the explosives so we can take this place down. Roger. Sure, sounds good, your plan. Okay, we have to go around, I think. Yeah, we do. So let's make it through this vent or through this. What looks like a vent anyway. Uh, uh, we have enough uh, crossbow bolts. Let's hack the terminal. The cameras are off. And off we go. Okay, we need to secure the sector for the activists. A couple of enemies to kill. And I see one of the heavies, so I don't think we'll be able to do it quietly. But we can attempt to kill as many of them quietly as possible. Nice one, that's two. Uh -uh -uh. That's three. I hope they will be able to see this guy. Oh no, they're here. Cool, let's take him down. And then get the last one. Oh no, he saw the body. Take it down. And if only we could take down this guy, like, there should be some sort of an upgrade that we can take these guys down. Unfortunately, there is not one. And he did not even call reinforcements, but there they are. That's a bit of a flaw, I see, that we have no way of taking down these heavy guys. There should be a skill or something that allows us to do so. Would make these areas much more fun. If nothing against the combat areas of this game, it's most likely the stealth areas that I would try to improve. Since many of the areas cannot be done through stealth. Which is of course understandable because maybe they wanted you to go into as much combat as possible. It is a werewolf game of course. The combat system is quite, quite good compared to the quality of the rest of the game. So I'm not surprised that they did not want you to go and do everything quietly. But if we were to improve something in this game, I think this should be the stealth areas, allowing it to do more stealth and working on the enemy AI. Like the fact that when AI sees a dead body, oh boy, there's an exo. Like the fact when enemy sees a dead body, 
they just straight away know where you are even if they did not even catch a glimpse of you beforehand they just know where you are exactly and they come and find you and call in reinforcements that should not be the case we also mentioned before that we'd add a way to distract enemies will be quite quite fun like throwing a coin or a stone far cry style something like that i think it would make the stand areas more interesting okay let's spawn kill them and enter frenzy oh and look at that the time was actually frozen for a split second thanks to our skill our newly learned skill so we need to connect Ava to the East Sector's terminal. Okay. Cool. That's a flask. And there are some balls. No need for those. And we need to pass through the vent. Nothing else here. Well, maybe that's because they're all dead. Oh no, that's a camera. Yeah, we're gonna have to go loud here. We are gonna have to go loud here. Can we take this guy at least without anybody noticing? No, that guy will notice. Oh well. No, it's actually fine. Yep, they noticed us. That doesn't matter. There's a heavy guy there anyway, so we would not be able to do this entire area quietly anyway. Nice one. As many takedowns of the shitless guys as possible. I'm happy with that. Nice big area to fight, which is not always the case. Nice, some heavy attacks here. Thank god the enemies actually cannot interrupt our healing animation because that would be very, very painful. And it would make things much, much more difficult for us. Because the amount of things happening on screen at the same time in this game is crazy. Especially in the later part parts of the game. Okay, you know what? I'm using Frenzy. I don't care if there are reinforcements coming. I just don't like to fight with you. Perfect him done oh no that's not him done oh boy okay thank god it's the fatty not too much of a challenge as you can see perfect and more reinforcements and an exo Aye, aye, aye. It just does not stop, does it? Frenzy again. Perfect. One more heavy to go. Let's use the special attack on him. He's a bit staggered, so let's finish him off. Perfect. Oh no freaking way, it just does not end. And it's the fatty again. I 
thank god they are not very dangerous or intelligent for that matter that's it no way two of them as well what what are you actually kidding me are you actually kidding me i have to redo this all over again oh my god okay boys i think this is gonna be the end of the fight we are about to finish these two guys off but the way the game cheated me in the last run oh my god that was horrible there we go that's the end of the fight okay cool cool we can continue my god are these fights long oh there is a vent here we might actually check what's here first a uh, spirit And nothing more of interest, a flask. I'll make good use of that. I'm at the north sector. Oh, we just could have now entered what? here. <laughs> the terminal downstairs. And all the guards in your way. Okay, we have zero spirit points available. That's fine. And we've yet another area, which we probably, well, we cannot do quietly, unless we sneak around them. Mr. Watkins is counting on you. Make him proud. Make him proud, boys. Oh, boy. Oh, God. No way to sneak, no. Okay, let's kill this guy. And then this guy. Are these cameras? Yeah. Oh god, somebody's coming. No, we're fine. We have to sneak around this guy somehow. And just leave him behind. He's not gonna notice the bodies, no. Oh well, he's just gonna stay here. God damn it. Nice takedown. Perfect. There's a turret as well. So if anything goes wrong, we are in deep, deep trouble. What do we need to do? We need to go to the other side. God damn it. Okay, nobody noticed. Oh, we can go to this vent. Perfect. Please tell me this uh, this actually leads somewhere. Oh yes. Nice. Thank God. Let's deactivate the turret. Your turn, Ava. How are you managing? Off some men in a counterattack, but we've managed to push them back. Cool. Sounds good, Ava. But what, do we just come back the same way we came from, yeah? Uh -uh -uh. See, if there was only a way to distract them, we just throw a coin over there or something and... They all turn their attention away, the attention away from us. That would be great. Are you gonna turn around? Yes. Come on. Let's make it back. Perfect. For once, we avoided the confrontation. And what 
here. Whoops. I'll probably have to fight here. Yep. Oh no. <laughs> that was very optimistic. Oh, but they're Alpha Mori. That was very optimistic, thinking that I could actually sneak around them. That is fine. We don't blast area stentity, so we can go all out here. And they just keep coming. And they just keep coming. <laughs> okay, some heavy attacks on them. They always work pretty well against these opponents. Close and explosive barrels are not the very best combination. Pretty sure there are lots of sparkles flying around. Cahal does not seem to mind the occasional barrel explosion to the face. Does not cause too much damage, so that's fine. But we should watch out nevertheless. We have enough bolts. Let's take this flask. And here we are once again. Okay, no vent here. Okay, that's an exo. Oh no, you did not. You did not just notice me. Yeah, I think we're discovered. We are discovered, boys. Okay, let's play Ring Around the Rosie with the Exo. I mean, come on, it checked everything here, it should go away. Okay, it does. Okay, fair play game, fair play. I did not think that would actually happen, but... Okay, let's go here. Oh boy. How are we doing this? How are we doing this? Come here. You yeah, know, the exo still is pretty much certain of where we are. Let's take this guy down. But the exo is right here. Let's take this guy down. <laughs> I don't even know why we're doing why we're doing this. Sure, the exo. Yep. There we go. And there are two turrets here. Oh boy, look at this. Come on. Come on, please. Yep, yeah, and all this stealth for nothing because there's one exo and you cannot do things stealthily if there's an exo or a heavy. It's a pity. I mean, once you kill eight enemies without them really noticing you. I think this should be rewarded with a possibility to maybe stealth kill the exo and pass through the area quietly. But apparently not. Okay, let's enter frenzy. 
since all the enemies are stuck on the stairs somehow. Ah yes, they were stuck because of our skill. I keep forgetting about it, but we can freeze time using our frenzy. And there's the next wave. Whoa! Two heavies. Whoa, what is going on? We're just stuck in a loop of damage. The guys were either shooting us or charging at us. And we're just taking so much damage. Oh god. Let's enter frenzy. And kill the two heavies, hopefully. one nearly all of them down now just this shield guy and one more enemy oh no we have to kill this guy he's gonna keep resurrecting them or well, not resurrecting but healing them oh no oh no oh no come on we need to kill him but he's in the middle of everybody else. God damn it, frenzy! Please help me. Okay, let's finish him off. Nice one. And now we can pass to everybody else. Cool. And there's yet another wave. Oh, and there's the resurrecting guy again. No, we need to get rid of him first. There is once again an enormous amount of enemies here. An enormous amount of enemies. them all but we should have our frenzy any moment so let's kill him nice one and let's go for that heavy guy That's the end of the fight. Ah, oh, boys. Every fight by now is like a boss fight here in this part of the game. Ava, how are you managing? No, nope. that's not a spirit. Okay, Dr. Lesterman, the operating theaters of Viridian State Prison are not in a position to handle the continuation of our tests. Please prepare a lab that is able to receive the werewolf subject on our offshore base. This email's only a few weeks old. Yeah, looks like they were preparing here to receive Aidana, or at least one of the werewolves. We have enough crossbow bolts, and there's another gate here reach the north sector i think we will need to save it for another episode boys i think we've been playing for quite a while and this one we have started this offshore uh rig mission and we'll see if we can actually maybe maybe finish this mission in the next episode we'll see about that um so uh we will definitely see that in the next chapter i hope you enjoyed today's episode of werewolf the apocalypse earth blood and i will see you in the next one tomorrow